Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be breaking down the latest news around the NFL. Before we get started, though, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. That would really help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, let's dive right into the video, and I hope you enjoy. And this is the news I've been waiting for all morning. Emmanuel Agba being re-signed by the Miami Dolphins, four years, $65 million, $32 million guaranteed. This is a massive deal for a guy uh, that is getting a big payday. After signing with the Dolphins two years ago, um, uh, coming from the Kansas City Chiefs on a two-year, $15 million contract, played fantastically over the past two years. Um, both seasons getting nine sacks for the Dolphins, 18 sacks over the last two years. I mean, this is big for the Dolphins defense. He was fantastic uh, for Miami last year. Um, and although, you know, he's not going to beat you with, 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 uh, with speed, right? But he's going to get his sacks. He's just, he's going to get sacks. Um, and he was a big part of this Dolphins defense, the, their best pass rusher over the past two years. And a lot of people thought, including him, I think, I think the, the, the consensus was he wasn't going to be re-signing. He was going to test for agency, see how much he could make out on the open market. And the Dolphins... Pay a premium for him. I mean, seventeen and a half million dollars for a pass rusher. That's not cheap, but compared to some of the other pass rushers out, out there in the market, I think that's actually a really good value. And Ogba's been playing well. He's gonna in he's he's in his peak right now. I mean, age twenty nine now, and you know he's been really big for the Dolphins defense. As I said, I didn't think he was gonna resign. I was really nervous about that. But seventeen and a half million they give to Ogba. They gave ten on the franchise tag to Gasicki. They had about forty eight coming into today, so they're gonna be around thirty one million dollars in cap room heading into next year. So we'll see what they do with that. Um, look for them to go out and get an off to lineman probably and maybe uh, potentially a running back as well as um, a linebacker. I know that that's a position that they're a little thin at right now. But overall, love them going out and re-signing Agba. It makes me really happy uh, to keep one of their better defensive ends and really one of their better pass rushers. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, see ya.